Okay, this is the adapter that I'm going to use with the Tigon tubing. Leak test and the test is looking good. All right, this is my automated watering system using the WISE sensor modified to detect water or moisture uh, instead of a, a magnet. So the green LED just tells me if the water level gets below this line in this bucket. If it does, then that green light will turn off. And this green light was just another moisture detector. These are just uh, simple level detectors that I made. And the two wires are seeing enough moisture to make the green light come on. So it turns out that the modified Y sensor, here it is, with two wires coming out of it. And all I did was just wire nut some stiff wire to it. And I stuck it at the other end in the soil. Then the other wire goes into another stiff wire into the soil. And I'm going to pull this out. You're going to hear a click, which opens this valve. And it allows the water in this 5-gallon bucket to work its way through the Tigon tubing. And all I did was heat it up a paper clip uh, so I could easily poke a few holes in this and allow the system to water. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, you heard the click, and you can see there's some water coming out, some water dripping through there, and I've got a couple of spots in the back that are doing the same thing, and when this happens automatically, what's going to happen is the, uh, when the, the uh, dirt is moist enough, then this will complete the circuit again, just like this. And the Y sensor sends a signal. And I'm using IFT to tell this smart socket to turn on and off, depending on what it sees from this Y sensor. And I'm just using a simple 12-volt DC supply to trigger the valve. 